because of the the past abuse that I endured and the trauma that ended that relationship, I have trust issues. It uh, absolutely um, impacts my relationship with Chad. Stacy and I, we met uh, two years after she was shot. I'm not much of a news guy. I knew of her story through my parents, but I didn't know all the details. I most definitely did not want to pry. I just wanted to be by her side. In preparation for the show, uh, listening to Stacy and, and her daughter Ashton go through the interviews, it brought tears to my eyes to know that somebody had to go through that. There's definitely a, a barrier sometimes between Chad and I. She keeps her emotions to herself, withholding the way that she feels at times. It's hard for me to be frustrated about it because of the simple fact I met her two years ago and she's been the same for the two years. Chad has never said he wishes I would just let it go and move on. However, there's been times that I have either brought it up or there's been a reminder, something came up. I feel like he is wishing we would just let it go. Stacy and I have come from uh, toxic relationships. We want everything to be right. We want everything to be good. At the same time, we're also very protective of ourselves. I gave myself a couple of years to be by myself and I felt like uh, initially that that was enough time. In hindsight, no, I don't think that I was fully mentally prepared to move on in another relationship. Chad's a great guy, and I think he's good for my mom, but I think that if my mom did work on herself a little bit more, that the relationship would be a lot healthier. Well, Chad, I'm glad you're here. I wrote down some of the things you said because I wanted to ask you about them. You said, I, I didn't really press her because when you get shot, you get shot. There's really nothing else to know. And I'm getting more details as they're doing their phone interviews and stuff. And you say, I don't think her past is the issue in our relationship. <sighs> Have you changed your thinking about that? Yeah, you... I, don't, I don't recall that. I mean, um... Yeah, no, most definitely the, uh, I think everybody's past. I mean, everybody goes through things and most definitely that's huge. Um, that's, yeah, then all that plays a big part in, in our relationship and uh, it's, it's, it's huge. Yeah, because you said you hadn't really noticed her, her triggers and if you're not walking in those shoes, it's easy to miss. There's a lot of times where Stacy can come home from work and uh, had a, a long, hard day, just like every day, you know, and I might sense something and say, hey, babe, are you okay? Everything good? And she's, she's gonna tell me, yeah, everything's good. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That and is true. And that's a lie. And that's a lie sometimes. I, I would say that I was a little bit fearful to pry on, uh, you know, because I don't, I don't want to see him cry. I don't want to see him hurt. But at the same time, I want to be there for him to come and talk to me. Well, hey there. Thanks so much for watching. And while I have you, do you have a story or a question for me? If so, I do want to hear from you. Click on the link in the description and tell me what's going on. You just might end up right here with me on the show. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Click that little red button below. You know you want to. What are you waiting for? Do it!